And now let's see what Johnny T has for us tonight. Welcome to Johnny T's in Naples, Florida. How many people have said they were able to record at 13 years of age and later sing with a great 70s group, Blood, Sweat and Tears? Well, now he doesn't make much money. He sings the blues. Well, tonight, we're with that gentleman right here at Johnny T's. Luther Kent. Luther. Good to have you back, Johnny. Buddy. It's a real pleasure after three years to be back in Naples. Well, we're glad to have you back. I tell you that the people are just have been calling day and night. They can't wait to get in to see you. Yeah, you know you got to give six to her. And I, I said, Judge. Suppose. So tell me a little about the days of blood, sweat, and tears, and the blues, and how it all got started for you. Well, I signed my first deal uh, in Baton Rouge when I was 13 years old with Montel Records. Uh, a gentleman named Sam Montel had a, uh, a group called Dale and Grace, had a very big record called I'm Leaving It Up To You. And uh, I was 14 years old, well, 13 and a half, 14 years old at the time, and they signed me to my first record deal. And I had a nine-piece rhythm and blues band, and I traveled all over the country performing at uh, at such a young and tender age. Yeah, well, we're still young and tender, <laughs> no doubt about it. Well, we're not young, but we're still tender. Sweet and tender, sweet and tender. <laughs> Boogie Kings out of Louisiana. It was a very yeah. famous rhythm and blues band, and uh, he was singing on the BS and T band along with Jerry Fisher. Well, Jerry uh, LaCroix was leaving to go with Rare Earth, and he recommended me for the gig. So they called me, and I went to New York, and I did the audition, got the gig. I did the 74 75 world tour with them. And then I went back out again briefly uh, in 76 with them for just a short stint. And then David Clayton Thomas returned to the band. He was doing a solo hiatus at the time. Right, right, I remember. And he returned to the band. And the last gig we did together was in Milwaukee at the Milwaukee Performing Arts Center with the Milwaukee Symphony with Jerry Fisher, David Clayton Thomas, and myself. Wow, what a and, combo. Yeah, and it was an incredible gig. And hey, Bobby, you know what? I stole the tape off of the console from the show that night. <laughs> we always got to take a little memorabilia with exactly. us. Exactly. I remember those great shows I used to do with the Mystics, the rock and roll shows in, in the 60s and 70s. There was nothing like it. When it's my last time, I'm telling you to change your way. I'm telling you, babe. Unbelievable. That's really what we're trying to do here with Johnny T's, Luth, and I'm glad you're part of it because we had Nate Evans from The Temptations last week. Uh, I get to perform here with the, you know, with the Mystics and the guys, and you're here now doing the blues, and it's great. So what are your plans for the future? Well, I just finished uh, a new CD with an all-star band uh, that uh, the musicians are compiled from Louisiana and Texas. The 17 Grammys won amongst the wow. entire uh, membership of the band. The band's called the Chicken Hawks, and it's myself and Al T and T Braggs who used to open up for Bobby Blue Bland. Right. He wrote Share Your Love for me for Bobby Blue Bland and some other things for Bobby over the years. And uh, it's a big, powerful 14-piece rhythm and blues band. And we just finished up doing our third CD with the Chicken Hawks about six months ago. They just finished mixing it about a month and a half ago, and I want to imagine within the next couple, two to three months it'll probably be released. Great, great. So next time you're down here, we'll be selling your new CDs. I got a bunch of them here with me this time. Well, then let's not stop right now. <laughs> let's start from tonight. You never know how much I love you. You never know how much I but I got to tell you, man, and I mean this sincerely, I, the very first time I came down here 15 years ago, I fell in love with Naples, and I made a lot of great friends here over the years. People are great here. And it's been three over three years since I've been here, and it's a real, real pleasure to well, be here. Well, we're glad to have you here. back. I mean that sincerely. Thank really you very much, sir. Thank you. Real very pleasure. Much. Well, now he doesn't make much money. He sings the blues. Only five thousand per word. But some judge and thinks he is funny. You know the man had the nerve to look at me and say, look here, you know you got to give six to her. And I, I said, judge, I get a fever. But oh, Whoa, 
Shula is one of the top five steakhouses in America. That's all for today's show. Please join us next week for more people, places, and lifestyles that you have to take a look. In Naples, Watermark Row. Unforgettable. Flavorful. Five star service. Excellence with a magic touch.